I'm smiling with you asking the question. Um, so I'm, I've always been an outdoor person, a very active person, and uh, and I love uh, I love working out, and I love doing it in a community. I love going on group runs, group workout sessions, and I have access to all of that stuff. And I found it so miserable every time I couldn't do it, or I was I could only do part of it, or I couldn't do as much as I wanted to. Um, and it's a big part of my my sort of self. My name is Gary, and in March this year I had injections in both knees here at the Stone Clinic. Um, when I when I came to the Stone Clinic I was pretty much at my wit's end in terms of um, physical constraints. I'm a very active person, I love to be active, but I couldn't run half a mile without knee pain afterwards, swelling could last up to two weeks, um, so really frustrating feeling like I could do so much more. Um, anyway, I had the injections in March. Um, and, um, and, a, and a program of physical therapy here um, immediately afterwards. And a lot of the exercises that I was taught during that physical therapy are, are a big part of my daily um, exercise routine now. Um, and, I, and, I, and I believe these two things in, in common are the injections working their magic and, uh, and, the, and the consistent exercise routine building in these exercises I learned here uh, have got me into a completely different place. Um, eight months on, yesterday I ran um, um, six miles pain-free, next day I'm pain and swelling free. Um, it's just been a continual positive progression ever since March. And my, so both knees were, both knees were similar, uh, maybe, well my right knee a little worse than my left, but I'd got to uh, basically bone on bone on the medial um, side of both knees. Um, and basically this meant discomfort. Um, the more I did, the more discomfort I would feel. Uh, sometimes I could cross the street, um, try and run across the street to beat the traffic, and I'd regret it afterwards. Um, little, little things. Um, um, sometimes the pain could continue, um, depending how much I do, the pain could, could last for days. Um, so, um, I'd, I'd actually resigned myself to knee replacements um, in the summer, um, and, uh, and at this moment in time, that now looks like something a lot further into the distance. Um, so I, I would say the progression um, is not overnight, um, and um, it's been um, gradual over eight months. I would say after maybe three to four months, that was when I started to think, hey, I'm feeling quite a lot different to where I was three or four months ago. Um, and at that point onwards, um, whatever pain I was causing myself by the activities I was doing, I, I used it as a sort of a ceiling, and I kept pushing that ceiling higher and higher, week by week, month by month, and I've basically been able to increase, increase the activities I've been doing. Um, and I've been careful uh, not to push so hard that I set myself back. Um, and I'm still able to push that, keep pushing that ceiling. The rehab, um, they uh, they actually taught me to walk. This sounds a, um, a little crazy, right? But um, I'd adjusted my gait because of the the knee pain, um, so that I wasn't even walking properly, and I hadn't realised I was making my own situation worse. And so I some of the exercises. Uh, that I was that I was taken through actually um, helped me readjust my gait and reset it. So I'm actually um, putting my heel down when I stride forward, mm -hmm. which I had stopped doing mm -hmm. without realizing I'd stopped doing it. But the exercises encouraged me to activate muscles which um, which I wasn't activating and mm -hmm. and return to a more normal gait. Um, yeah, so uh, it's a big change. Um, yeah. Eight months um, since March this year. I'm smiling with you asking the question. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I've always been an outdoor person, a very active person, and uh, and I love uh, I love working out, and I love doing it in a community. I love going on group runs, group workout sessions, and I have access to all of that stuff. And I found it so miserable every time I couldn't do it, or I was I could only do part of it, or I couldn't do as much as I wanted to. Um, and it's a big part of my my sort of self. Uh, so, so, so I think happiness, um, just being able to recharge. Um, um, I'm feeling better in, in myself. Um, I accidentally lost weight. I hadn't planned to, but um, that was just one of those, you know, happy knock-on effects. Um, so I'm considerably lighter than I was. I'm fitter than I was. 
um, general lifestyle um, is improved. Yeah, mental well-being. I mean, work is stressful, life is stressful, and exercise is a huge relief, uh, uh, release, I should say. Um, and it's a, it's a big part of my work-life balance. Um, and so as soon as that gets constrained or threatened, if, if, if I feel it's threatened to be taken away, uh, that, that, that's not good. But I think my learnings this year, um, I, I, I think the, the treatment, the combinations of treatment here um, are a really great start on the right path. Um, but I think it also takes some dedication, consistency, commitment, personally. Um, uh, you know, that's, that's the start that sets you on the path. But it needs that sort of consistency. Um, what what you're taught here is 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 powerful, but you've got to keep keep doing it. Um, so that was a big that was really a big learning for me today. Um, and uh, and I guess the second one, um, you know, it's not an injection. It's not like taking an ibuprofen where 20 minutes time you start to feel. Um, uh, an immediate benefit. It's it's going to be a progression over time, um, and I think if you try and measure it day to day, you might get a little uh, disheartened. But um, I think when I got to sort of the three to four month mark, um, what I realised was looking back three to four months, there was a step change. Uh, so when you start to look out that little bit further, um, you start to realise, okay, I've come I've come some way. And, and that is something, if you can learn to do that, it, it, it can be a really powerful motivator to keep going.